Good morning, welcome to Blue Decusty Techs. We're back out on our Thursday farm. Um, I don't know why, but we always seem to end up here on our Thursdays. <laughs> this is the field where I found a silver spoon last time and we've just handed that over, cleaned up, bent, removed, and I hadn't realized, but there was an L on the handle. I hadn't I had realized the L was on the handle, but it's, uh, they pointed out that the L was for their surname so it's gone back into the family so that's good okay so we're staying on the lower fields today um better digging the higher fields are a bit dry i'll catch you on the first oh chris is here with me we're both on our equinox 800 catch you on the first that's my first find some sort of lead token or back seal or something not sure what this one is it is lead it seems to have iron there and there it's just lead but today we've decided to go down on the low fields because uh, the higher fields are a bit dry the lower fields have got a bit of moisture to them after the rain so um, it was a good decision it's nice and easy to dig down here my first coin for the day very thin nothing on it but I've finally found a coin. Chris has already had one. We'll have a catch up later uh, at lunchtime. I want to give a massive shout out to Avon Skin So Soft. Without this, my hobby would be miserable. Um, they keep horse flies away. I've seen them today. I'm covered in it. I've seen them today. They haven't bothered me. They don't bother Chris for some reason. He says it's because he's got royal blood. But for me, if I didn't have this, I'd have a miserable day detected. So I love this hobby. I love this product. Um, it's one of the best things you could have in your bag for metal detecting. It's an essential for me. Thank you, Avon Skin So Soft. One of Chris's finds, it looks like Air Force button. So these Chris's found these two two different places, whether it makes one or not, I don't know whether it's one of the same, but it's two halves in two different areas. Our next find is this buckle, not terribly old, but I thought I'd show it anyway. Right, we're going to do a live dig. Numbers, Chris? 20. 20. What are you thinking? Well, it's just a coin, but... In or out? It's in the clod. In the Another coin for me, it's a Queen Victoria. Uh, I'll come back with a date later. The sun's reflecting off my phone and I can't see properly. Fun fact for the day, did you know that on average a beef animal dumps 11 tonnes of poo each Per year. Didn't know that, did you? Interesting fact for you. Another coin. Oops, what zoom on? I wasn't expecting that. I'm right at the side of a, a road here. Um, not keen on doing roads, near roads. Because you get junk that people throw over. I'll clean this up and we'll see what it is. There we go. It's a ship half penny. I've just been bitten by a horse fly. Do you know why? Because I've got my gloves on. It went straight through the back of my glove. So now my glove's coated in it as well. And that was the end of that. Um, we stopped for some lunch. I had a cup of tea. I had plenty of water. And then I took a turn. Um, I think we got sunstroke. We hadn't been out very long. But I just want to make 
awareness to everybody that's out there um, detecting in full sun. I've included a list here of different things that can happen to you and different signs of exhaustion. I did have the headache, I did have the dizziness, I felt sick, I was sweating, my arms and legs weren't crampy as such but I did have pins and needles in them and I did have stomach pain. Um, breathing, I don't think the breathing got fast, um, I was panicking, temperature possibly, couldn't take my temperature out there. And being very thirsty, can't put a tick on that one because I had just had a drink. I just want to make you all aware of this. So we packed up and Chris drove us home. I couldn't possibly drive how I was feeling. I'm absolutely fine now um, and I was by the end of that evening. Okay, on to the fines. So I'm out in the garden the day after that disastrous day's metal detecting. These are Chris's fines from yesterday. He had a pewter spoon. One, two, three buttons, a, apart from a dart, a couple of, oh, can't think straight, a couple of um, clock clasps and some coins. There's a cartwheel penny, so that will be 17.97 and a sixpence, that's 1955. He did have other fines, but um, they're ones of any interest at all, really. Okay, we'll go on to mine now. So here's my undesirables. Lots of iron in the corner there, tractor pin, uh, foil. Oh, just rubbish, really. It's just undesirables. A plug pin. Before I go any further I'd like to say that I have just ordered another microphone. We're having microphone problems as usual so um, that won't be long before it's here and then hopefully we can get rid of all this wind noise. Okay on to the next few finds. I did get quite a few buttons this one here being the smallest uh, three coins, you've seen those, there's a Victoria, a ship half penny and the one that I can't see. Three washery type things. These, I don't know what they are, I keep finding them and I'm not sure what they are. Uh, not old. The buckle you've seen, the lead, um, this one here, I'm not sure if you can see it in this light. It does have a circle inside it with something on but... I can't see what it is. So yeah, that's the uh, full amount of things that we found today in that short amount of time. And I'm terribly sorry about this, but the, the, the video is going to be a short one. Um, but do take care out in the sun. I learned the hard way today. So thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. And I will see you on the next. Please, please take care in that sun.